In this video, we're going to take a look at Zappable's new feature, which lets you generate certificates for your Apple apps using a non-Apple computer. Previously, you would have to use an Apple computer to generate these certificates, but now Zappable does the hard work for you, and I'm going to show you how to set up your certificates on a non-Mac computer. Okay, so we see here, I'm on Windows 10, non-Mac computer. You don't have to be on Windows 10, you can be on Windows 8, Windows 7, or earlier versions of Windows. We're going to be working on this app here. What you do is you go to Manage Apps and find the app you want to generate the certificate for. You go to the app and click this little list icon and go to Upload iOS Certificates. This opens our next screen. Okay, so the first step All these steps are laid out for you here. There are six steps to generate an iOS app from beginning to end. First of all, you want to create an Apple developer account. Now you can read the text here and it guides you through it. Okay, so you can skip this step if you already have an Apple account and you just log into your account here. If not, you create an Apple account and this is what we're gonna click next. Uh, there's a few notes below. The First of which being, you can compare membership plans here and choose what suits your business best here. So if we open this and have a look. Setting up an Apple developer account is a multi-stage process. To begin with, you're gonna to want to create your Apple ID. If you already have an Apple ID, you can skip this step. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Apple ID. So you fill in all these boxes. and then you select your Apple ID. This will be an email address. So make sure it's an email address that, that is valid and is available. This is not an email address that Apple sets up for you. This is an email address that you already have. So it could be a Gmail address, it could be a Yahoo address, anything like that. If email address has already been used as an Apple ID, then you won't be able to complete this step. You want to have a rescue email address and add your mailing details paying careful attention to your locale. You want to be including details for yourself or your business in the locale that you wish to sell apps in. Then you create your Apple ID. Once you've created your Apple ID, you'll need to verify the email address that you've used to create the Apple ID. Simply check the email inbox for the address that you used to register, click the link, and you'll be taken to this screen where you can verify your address. You'll see that whenever you verify your main Apple ID address, it will remind you to not forget to verify your rescue email address. But the important one is the main Apple ID address. Okay, so once you've created your Apple ID, you can then use the iOS app generation page to log into your developer account. details you'll input here are the same as the Apple ID you've just generated. You'll be confronted with a developer agreement which you can read and should read but for now we're going to check the box and submit. Before your developer account is approved, you will only see SDKs and bug reporting in your developer account. You must complete enrollments to access all the features that we need to continue with the iOS generation steps.